the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that God speaks to us through his word. Amen. Today, I want to touch on go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 5, verse 41. A soldier may say to you, carry my luggage for one mile. That is 1,500 meters. Help him carry it for two miles. That is 3,000 meters. Hallelujah. In the time of the Israelites, they were under the rule of the Roman system. And the Roman soldiers could compel any Jew to carry his luggage for a mile. That was the rule. You know, and Jesus was telling them, people, if they ask you to carry it for one mile, don't just do it one mile. Do it two miles. Actually, I don't want to go so much into details with um, the, the, the history. But Jesus was just telling them, go the extra mile. So it became a, a, a rule for the Christians even after Jesus had ascended to heaven. And when a Roman soldier asks a Christian, can you help me carry my luggage? The Christian will say, yes, sir. And then he will joyfully start walking along with the soldier. After a mile, the soldier may ask him, okay, you may go. Then the believer will tell the soldier, I would really like to carry it on for another mile. The soldier will be shocked. And the soldier may ask, why? You are different. What is, what is different? So, so what is different about you? Then the Christian will get that opportunity to explain that I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. The soldier may ask, who is this Jesus you are talking about? Then he will get that chance to be able to explain to him who Jesus Christ is. And it is recorded that so many people, so many soldiers came to Jesus because the disciples of Jesus Christ went the extra mile. Today, I pray that God will touch our hearts. If you are a teacher listening to me, go the extra mile in helping your students. Don't teach just like the ordinary teachers. If you are a nurse, don't just practice your nursing skills like any other nurse. Go the extra mile with your patients. If you're a prison officer, go the extra mile with the inmates. If you're a police officer, go the extra mile. You know, in everything that we would do, let us try as much as possible to go the extra mile. After eating, go the extra mile to appreciate the one who prepared the food. If it is your partner, tell him, darling, God bless you. Thank you for the food. Go the extra mile to wash the plates in the house or clean the hall as a man. Go the extra mile to educate the house help who is staying with you or giving him or her a decent work to do. Go the extra mile to support that needy fellow in the church. Encouragement is okay. But you know what? You can also still go further. Go the extra mile. Is there anyone that you must show the love of God to? Go the extra mile and show that love of God to that fellow. Husbands and wives, go the extra mile. To thank each other after a good day sex. Thank him, dear Thank you for what you have done. Thank you so much for this sex. Go the extra mile. There is a woman in the Old Testament who went the extra mile. Her name is called Rebecca. Genesis chapter 24, verse 15 to verse 19. Genesis chapter 24, verse 15 to verse 19. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebecca came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with a pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hasted, and let down her pitcher upon her head, and gave him drink. 
And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. Hallelujah. Apparently, before this, Eliza, the servant, had been sent by Abraham to go look for a has for, 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 for a wife for his son Isaac. And uh, Eliza had prayed, God, anyone, any woman who will come here to fetch from this well, and I ask of her water. And she says, Let me draw water for you. And she will draw water for me and also says, I will also draw water for your camels until they have done drinking. If there is any woman who will be sent here and will do this, then that person is the husband of Isaac. Beloved in Christ, Rebecca, by going the extra mile, had her husband, a rich husband by name Isaac, a husband who was not troublesome, a husband who will not disturb her, a husband who is not a drunkard, a husband who is not going to beat her, a husband who is not a womanizer, a husband who married one woman under the Old Testament. Friends, people of God, go that extra mile my dear you want a husband to marry go the extra mile to show kindness to people show kindness to strangers show kindness to them show kindness when you sit in a taxi show kindness when you're in that trotro show kindness when you're in that bus to go to another city just show kindness and it will marvel you the hand of the Lord that will rest upon your life to bring great favor upon you. There's another woman called the Shunammite woman. The Shunammite woman also went the extra mile. Second Kings chapter 4, the verse number 10. Second Kings 4, verse 10. The Sunama woman said, let's build a small room for him. He's talking about Elisha. On the roof and furnish it with bed, a table and a chair, and a lamp. Then we, he will have a place to stay whenever he comes back. Before she had been providing food for Elisha. And now she was saying, husband, let us not just provide food for him. Let us build him a house that when the man of God eats, he will also have a place to lay his head before going on with his journey. Let us not just provide a room. Let us provide a bed for him. Let us provide a table. Let us provide a chair. Let us give him a lamp. You know, go the extra mile. She didn't know that this kindness she was showing was going to give her, her a baby. She didn't know that one day that baby giving her would die. And that this same man of God will resurrect him and bring him back to life. Dear friends, I want to leave you with this word. Go the extra mile. I've been practicing this thing for so many years going the extra mile if you are reading a book and you want to just finish at chapter three go the extra mile just open to chapter four and read a piece in chapter four go the extra mile when somebody asks of water give him or her water if you have a little drink if you have something little some food give it to him or her simply go the extra mile and the Lord who looks and watches over all will see it and reward you accordingly. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and grant you his everlasting peace. The Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen. 
if you listen to me and you have not accepted jesus as your lord and savior today i want to give you an opportunity to invite him into your life there is nothing greater than accepting jesus into your life say with me lord jesus i give my heart to you forgive me all my sins stay with me be with me and write my name in the book of life thank you for saving me amen now i pray that god be with you and may he show you his favor in the name of jesus christ we shall meet again bye bye